नमस्ते चिल्ड्रन वेलकम बैक टू सोशल साइंस क्लास चिल्ड्रन वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द फंडामेंटल राइट्स सो इन टूडेज क्लास लेट इज लर्न अबाउट द फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज एज आई सेड अर्लियर चिल्ड्रन द फंडामेंटल राइट्स एंड ड्यूटीज और द टू साइड्स ऑफ द सेम कॉइन यू ऑल नो कैन यू सेपरेट दो टू कैन यू सेपरेट द टू फेजेस ऑफ द same coin no we cannot separate like that fundamental rights and duties are the two sides of the same coin that means as we have got the right we have to discharge our duties also the responsibility of an individual to his country is known as duty the responsibility of an individual to his country is known as the duty in case the people discharge their fundamental duties with self motivation that is we ourselves we have to discharge our fundamental duties at then the progress of the country becomes easier in the constitution there are 11 fundamental duties included what are these 11 fundamental duties let us learn you can see your children i think i hope on 15th august you all have seen the grandeur of our 75th independence day so and we celebrated in our school with a great pomp always we will see here you can see here children we they, how the people they are respecting the national flag the first duty is to respect the constitution national flag and the national anthem we cannot sing the national anthem as you like and hoist national flag whenever you like wherever you like there are certain things we have to respect the constitution national flag and the national anthem and to follow the noble ideals that inspired our struggle for freedom because you all know children how what an amount of struggle our people our ancestors have done for the freedom so and also we have to protect the unity of india and we must defend the motherland mother india we must defend the motherland and we must promote the spirit of brotherhood amongst all the people of india and to preserve our rich heritage what are our heritage children there are so many uh, monuments we have got like forts palaces architectural marvels museums art galleries many 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 we have got these are all our heritage so we have to preserve our rich heritage we must not spoil them and the next is uh, also we have to protect and improve the natural environment we have got such a great natural environment but we must not spoil that we must protect our natural environment environmental protection and also to develop the scientific temper you can see here how the children are um, they are uh, doing these researches and so may the children you must never uh, just believe whatever others say we have to put into a spirit of inquiry how it happened what happened how it comes if we tell you something then you must uh, look into it what happened why it has become like this all these things you must think and develop the scientific temper and also children you will have to safeguard the public property see only street lights are only not the public property there are so many public properties like buses uh, trains 
and uh, bank post office there are many public properties and if any problem arises the people will be they get into the uh, yeah, spoiling or spoiling these public property they will burst into fire all that they will do and like you know the violence they will do uh, hitting one another or so many things they will start so such thing should not happen we must safeguard public property and also we must give up the violence and to strive towards the excellence in all spheres of individual as well as collective activities and the one more thing which is very important the parents or the guardians should provide an opportunity for education to their children from the age of 6 to 14 years it is compulsory education children from the age of 6 to 14 it is very very necessary to give them education they must not be put into any other activities other than education and also we must strive for their development and in case of the citizen does not discharge any of his fundamental duty see when we don't have when any our violation of any right the um, uh, the people or the citizens can question that in a court of law but here in case of citizen does not discharge any of his duties the government cannot question it in the court of law it is the self motivation children all the citizens are expected to do their duties with self motivation what are your duties children what are your duties tell me can you tell me your duties now right now your duties are learning writing reading whatever the work assigned to you by the teachers or the elders or at home by the parents you are you must obey them and discharge your duties okay children and what all the duties to be discharged by you you must discuss and tell me okay children thank you